talk us through that. Talk us through that. Now it's, it's a howl. It's, it's a scrum. Talk us through that. That was. Uh, what's it like fighting your third opponent to take me in? Like preparing for three opponents in the States in about two months. I, uh, I what did Brett bring into the cage here today? I prepared for Chris Fields. Mm -hmm. The guys I trained with were 6'5", six, 6'4", six, um, strikers. Uh, and when I found out that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't going to be Chris Fields, it was a little bit too late to, to change anything. So I guess I, just, I was just going to punch a little bit lower, you know? There was nothing uh, yeah. I, I could have figured out. There was no, there was no game plan for 72 hours yeah. because it changed again and then again. So mm -hmm. I, I really didn't know. Yeah. So I just... We're fighters, man, you know, we, we, we can't... Fight, we'll fight what's there. Exactly, you yeah. know, it's, it's easy, easy to game plan, but all the guys that I was had against me, were, they're all pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was going to be a stand and bang fight, you know, there wasn't going to be too much jiu-jitsu. I wasn't going to wrestle and take him down. Mm -hmm. and, and when I found out who it was, I, I knew he wasn't going to wrestle and take me down, you know? So, yeah, yeah. I didn't think he was going to hit me with a fucking jab that hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Lee, and, Lee, sorry, when, when the, all these changes were happening, you know, yeah, oh, mate, yeah, you doing? Doing? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Uh, when all these changes were happening, mate, did you ever think, oh, nah, come on, this is getting silly now, this is the third opponent, did you ever think that? I, I did get the hump a little bit, you know, but the thing is, it's, you're kind of going up, down, up, down, you get told to one person, told to the next person, I was like, just fuck's sake, one person fight me, you know, it's, but it's, what are you going to do, you know, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I wanted to fight, you know, I trained for eight weeks, I was coming off of that fucking terrible loss from, from the other guy, you know, I wanted to have a fight, so I didn't care who it was going to be, it was going to be a fight. What's kind of a logical next step for you? Like, I know you maybe don't want to call anyone out or anything like that, but is there anyone you look at? You know, hear what went on in the, in the cage. I don't think it lasts that long, to be honest. Well, there's, Sorry. It's, it's, it, it, that's that's the next fight. I want to fight in England. I missed my, like, my chance to fight in England last year. This is my chance to fight in England. So, it you makes, say you won on that London card. Right. Fuck yeah, I do. You know, I, I missed the last one, so I really, really want to be. Well, you've been booked against Linton Vassell. Oh, Linton Vassell. Oh. It's already been booked. That's what I'm saying. He's not listening <laughs> after the fight. Oh, I think he's right now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, me and Linton Vassell. Just one question. I have to, I have to run off, but. Uh, Chris Fields really wants to get in the cage with you again. Is that something you'd have? In the, like, you obviously have a fight book now, but down the line, six, nine months down the line, would you be interested in the Fields fight? You know what? Let, let him let him come into Bellator. Let him have his fights in Bellator. You know, I had to work my way up in Bellator. Yeah. This Chris being fight for Chris Fields. If, if it happens, it happens. But he'll have to he'll have to fight. I want my belt back, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in fighting any, any anybody else. Lyndon Vassell, Then I want my belt back. You know, and and. That long layoff, the 14 month layoff, I'm, I'm catching up for this, you know, so I've got some making up to do. Is that it then? If you beat Linton at uh, Bellator London, it's Phil Davis or no one. That is the fight. Who's there? Who else is there to fight? You know, it's. Uh he, he's not booked up for anyone else, so let's let's fucking get this one on. Scott Coker was saying they're very close with Ryan Bader. With who? Ryan Bader. What, and Phil Davies? No, he's in there going to sign Ryan Bader. Is that a fight? That Another is? fucking boring wrestler. Man, all right, well, whatever, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a top name, ranked number whatever he is in the world, you know. Bring him in. It's, it's all more than welcome, you know, but... Uh, it's, man, that's another same, same fucking game that he plays, you know. And I'm like, well, I guess I have to get my wrestling boots back on, don't I? <laughs> in the fight tonight, you got dropped at the start of the first round. Was that just a flash knockdown that caught you by surprise, or were you ever in any danger? Dude, it was like hit. No, I wasn't in any danger. It was like getting hit with a shovel. I was like, oh my god! And then I got back up. He went to throw another one. I, I think I was just like, you won't hit me with another one of them. But no, no, it was, it, it was, it was powerful. You know, it, it, he had a lot of power in those hands. Massive respect to the dude. You know, he came to, he came to fight. As well, were you surprised at what? punishment he could take because you landed some serious shots yourself yes yes I was I don't know how he ma managed to stand up from that knee mm. the head kick mm. uh, and my jab I was working my, I wanted to get my jabs off you know and my hands didn't get, get off three four months ago you know tonight they was they were where I wanted to be there's still work to be done but it, it was strange getting in there after a loss you know it's like you have a brief flash into your it, it, into the last fight and you're like you have to get that one out of your head and, and, and concentrate on what you've got in front of you you know and, and I had a big fucking brute in front of me you Leon Leonidas versus Xerxes <laughs> <laughs> you ended up in a weird position we were naming it an Armo Plata uh, I have was, no idea what happened there yeah and it looked close it looked like, it looked like it was it, going to, it was going to pop I, I don't know what it, I was pulling his arm one way I was punching him in the face so I, I didn't really know what was going on with that bit you know so I didn't want to extend just in case I lost him mm. I had him in quite a good position so it was like I just kept on opening him up opening his face up with the cuts so talk about Linton Vassell a big fight uh, two Englishmen on the London card again 
Does that get the, the blue gown? Is that going to be the fight to get you your title shot next? I hope so. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm start calling it out afterwards. You know, everyone's always saying I need to call people out. Yeah. Then after I deal with Linton Vassell, Linton Vassell's been on a tear. Mm -hmm. You know, he, there's no, no there's no denying he's he's what three and zero in his last you know, last few fights. He's been doing his thing. I like Linton. You know, it's, there's, I have nothing against the guy. But I always knew this was going to happen. We're in the same division, friend or no friend. We we still can punch each other in the face, and I'll still buy him a beer afterwards. You know, it's it's not. There is no animosity here. You know? That's something that's come into the fight game, though, isn't it? It's almost saying that you have to hate one another to fight one another. Like no. at the end of the day, it's competition. It is competition. I mean, sometimes the competition can go, it mm. can boil over, tempers flare. Who knows? You know, it might be three weeks out from a fight. He might call me a prick. I might call him a prick. Yeah. We don't. We don't know. But as far as, as right this very second, I have no animosity against the dude. Mm. And building up to the fight, it's. It's an all-English affair. The guy, it, it makes so much sense. It doesn't make any sense having us fight over in America. Yeah. This, this fight needs to happen in London, uh, alongside all my other brothers, of, of uh, England brothers, and then I'll get all my friends to come and see it, and everybody in, in fight in London. Mm -hmm. Something I've dreamed of doing. And it's a stack card as well, Bellator putting together, so obviously the whole world is going to be watching this. No harm in having the eyes on you again. Exactly, I don't mind, you know, and I'll get, I'll get a few months to rest up and then do it all over again. You good? Yeah. Cheers, Thank man. you. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks.